this race is the number one ice race in the country. Cold Cutter is probably the fastest riders on the planet on ice racing here today. We got a lot of sponsors here supporting the AMA Ice Race Grand Championships. Our title sponsor is Cold Cutters. If you're going to win, you got to definitely run Cold Cutters Screw. Yamaha donating uh, some UTVs. Yamaha generators as well. Ray C's in Lapeer definitely uh, hooking us up with some UTVs and a Department of Natural Resources allowing us to race out here on Lake Cadillac at the William Mitchell State Park. Uh, the AMA Ice Race uh, Grand Championship. Uh, this race right here is not only just for racers, it's a family event. Watching bikes going uh, 85 miles an hour on the ice on a Sunday, you can't beat it. So it's good for the whole family. Here we are at the 2012 AMA Grand National Ice Champion, and we're going to be speaking to Brian Bigelow. I'm just uh, thrilled to be here in Cadillac. Um, the way the weather was looking this year, I didn't think we'd be able to race, but they put a nice, uh, a nice event here, and uh, a great turnout of riders. And we're just, we're, we're just, we're so excited to be here. Conditions are tough out there, man. Uh, it's uh, a lot of, lot of riders. The track's getting real rough, but uh, they're keeping it plowed off, and the, the, the racing's great. You can go two and three wide. So uh, I've noticed this year everybody's really stepped up their game, and uh, I'm expecting for uh, great battles today. I was here yesterday for the first time watching, and in a long time I come and watch Saturday. Day and uh, was amazed at the talent coming up and uh, the, the, the amount of the amount of uh, racers and spectators here. So uh, I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. I'm gonna have my hands full today, but uh, you know I, I love riding motorcycles and uh, this is why I'm here. So uh, I guarantee we'll go down swinging. Whoever wins that cold cutter shootout is the fastest ice racer in the country, as far as I'm concerned. So uh, um, I'm ex I'm expecting a a, bat a a real a real battle. It should be great. Uh, Jared Meese, Brian Smith, Craig Pickett. There's uh, Steven Vanderker. There's a bunch of guys who are going real fast. So uh, it's uh, this is what we want. This is what we want to see. We want to see a great race, and uh, hopefully I'm the first guy to cross that finish line at the end of the day. Here we're at uh, Jared Meese's trailer. and Got up the starting line. The bike went fire up for him. They're pulling parts off from one bike and put it on another, so we can definitely get into the Cole Cutter Pro Shootout. And this is Nicole Chesra, and her pretty pink bike behind her. They're number 15. So, Nicole, how we uh, how is the track out there today for us? Uh, the track's really good, you know. Uh, it's a little bumpy, but that's probably just from the warm weather and that refreezing. Um, but as far as ruts go, it's not real chewed up or anything. So I think we'll see a lot of good racing in the um, cold cutter shootout classes. Cold cutter screws, you know, work really good. We've been running them since I was on PW50. So um, can't say enough for them. They really hook up, get a lot of traction, and uh, hopefully they'll take us to the front today. I started racing when I was four, and I just turned 24. So about 20 years. Started on a PW50. Not only does she does the ice racing, but she also does the flat tracking. Yeah, um, you know, started dirt tracking when I was about 10 and just love it. You know, finally, uh, when I turned 16, moved up into the pro ranks and um, each year just keep improving. Last, last year I finished 18th overall and uh, now we switched over to the ice season and we're just having a little fun before we start dirt track season down in Daytona. I see you have uh, the Global uh, Products on it. Is that one of your uh, main sponsors? Yep, Global Products um, really helps me out with my dirt track prog program, especially on the XR750. Um, you know, they've been a big part of my program since I turned 16 and can't thank them enough. And uh, really got to thank Turn One Distributing for putting up the money for us in the cold cutter shootout class. Well, thank you very much, Nicole. I appreciate it and good luck today. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, number 76 and uh, Craig what's the track gonna be like out there today uh, it's gonna be fast you know it should make some good racing it's a nice fast track uh, it's a little rough but not not too over the top uh, but it's got looks like it's pretty quick and you are racing in the uh, cold cutter pro shootout today yep I'm gonna do both cold cutter shootouts and uh, 40 plus and how long you've been racing Craig man my whole life no I've been I started ice racing when I was 17 I'm 52 now so it's over 30 years. That's great. Well, good luck to you today, and, and uh, hopefully everything works out for you. Okay, thanks a lot. How long have you been using coal cutters? <laughs> My whole life. My whole life. <laughs>
Here we are at the AMA Grand National Ice Race Champions. We're in the cold cutter heats. We have a Brian Bigelow in first. We have Nicole Chesney in second. Just had one of the heats for the cold cutter pro shootout, and uh, we're coming up now to our second heat. Here we're up here at Cadillac, Michigan at the AMA Grand National Ice Races 2012. We're also filming, we're filming the heats. They're warming up for the Cold Cutter Pro Shootout. We've had two heats. are again at the uh, Cadillac, Michigan for the AMA Grand Nationals ice racing. And uh, this is number fourth heat for the Cold Cutter Pro Shootout. Yeah. Our, uh, the Cold Cutter Pro Shootout, one of the, the fourth heat. And uh, here we have uh, Jared Mee's coming around in the first place. Another heat for the Cold Cutter Pro Shootout. Number five heat.
And I have standing for me Jared Mees, who came up here to race in the Cold Cutter Pro Shootout. And he's unfortunately had an issue with his first bike, a bike, and he got his backup bike running, and he went out there and won his heat. Tell me a little bit what happened, you think, there, Jared, with your bike. You know, I don't know exactly. I went out in the first practice, and it started cutting out. And then I went, was going out for the second practice, and it just wouldn't start up. So I tried to make a few quick adjustments. It was the coil and a, and a ECU or a fuel pump, just real easy things to swap. Nothing really seemed to make the difference, so I had to jump on a different bike. And uh, it's definitely not up to par to what my A-bike was. It's actually a bike that's ready to go for Daytona short track that you don't need much horsepower. But uh, we're going to give it our best we can. You know, I switched my suspension over and my coal cutter tires over, and... You know, we're going to give it a go. I know there's some guys out here that uh, probably might have a little bit more horsepower than me, but uh, maybe we'll try to outride them. What screws are you using your bike, Jared? I use uh, cold cutters and cold cutters only. Uh, I race uh, an indoor ice race series as well, and we use the Silver Rockets, which are cold cutters as well. I moved to Michigan back in 2006. I was from Pennsylvania. We didn't really ride a whole lot of ice, so from uh, 2006 till present, I've stuck with the cold cutters and have just unbelievable luck. They make all sizes, all lengths, all different shank sizes. So, I mean, if you can't get it a cold cutter, you, you can't get it anywhere. You obviously have some major sponsors and, and uh, support from those guys. Uh, can you tell me who they have? Yeah, definitely. On the ice racing side of it, i got to thank Cole Cutter, Turn 1 Distributing, Craig Pickett, uh, Steve Beatty, 26 Suspension, Ron Hamp. Uh, for my dirt track program, I want to thank Lucas Oil, National Cycle, uh, Rogers Racing, Rogers Lake Racing, Digger Helm, um, Blue Springs Harley-Davidson, Montgomeryville Cycle Center, and uh, everybody that uh, lends a hand. You know, it's, it's a big thing. I want to thank the Baja crew for having us and moving it to where we could be able to race. Great, Jared. Thank you very much, and have a good race day. Thank you.
I'm uh, 73 years old and still ice racing. I guess if I can do it, I might as well because it's a lot of fun. Thank you, Dwayne, for uh, keeping the, not only out here today racing at the AMA Grand National Ice Races, but also the spirit of a, of a younger man yeah, and still right, going after yeah, it. That's yeah. great. Young 73. There yeah. you go. Thanks. <laughs> These cold cutters really dig into the ice, I'll tell you. Here we are today for the AMA Grand National Ice Races. This is the 250 and a 450 Cold Cutter Pro Shootout. This is a final. This is where the money's at. This is a nine lap final race, again, for the Cold Cutter Pro Shootout 250-450 class. Watch them. Come around, lap three. We have Jared Meese in the lead, Brian Smith. Brian And here we are, we're at halfway point of 250-450 Cold Cutter Pro Shootout. <laughs> Are coming in the 250-450 Cold Car Pro shootout. The win by Jared Mee. <laughs> this is it. This is for the final. The 250 Open Cold Cutter Pro Shootout. There's no other better ice racing than there is today. People come all over to watch this race. This is the big race.
This is the 250 Open. Ryan Smith coming in with the Jared Meese leading it. Ryan Bigelow. Greg Pickett. coming to the last lap to the 250 Cold Cutter Pro Shootout. We have Jared Mees, Brian Smith second. We have Brian Bigelow is in third. Craig Pickett in fourth. And here we are. We are going to have a Jared Mees, the winner in the 250 Cold Cutter Pro Shootout. Brian Smith, Brian Bigelow, Craig Pickett.
everybody for making this happen. It's a, it was a it was a fun day. It was a stressful day, but uh, we made it happen. Again, we want to wish you congratulations. Good job. On behalf of um, Cole Carter, uh, Jared Beasley, to award you this check in cash money to win both classes. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Tom. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.